Alrighty, boys. So, just got done recording a fighter showcase for Marlon Chito Vera. And then, when I was done, I realized that the audio for the actual fights is corrupted. So, you guys are not going to hear any sounds like like sound of punches, sound of the crowd, sound of, of commentary. You will hear my commentary. That's perfectly okay. But the actual recording, something about my Elgato just corrupted the audio. So, I'm going to just keep that silent. Um, the fights are pretty good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy the fights, um, but there's just not going to be any audio from the actual fight. So just giving you guys a heads up. Hope that doesn't ruin the fighter showcase for you. I thought about just re-recording the whole entire thing, but then it, it would just take too long. And I don't know if I would get fights as good, as decent as the ones that I got for this showcase. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. Again, hopefully it's not that big of a deal. And um, yeah, I'll keep my fingers crossed you guys enjoy. So go ahead, check it out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Uh-huh. My opponent goes with Piotr Jan. That's okay. So I've been playing again on the PlayStation 5, and the reason for that is because um, the Xbox Live has been down for quite some time. Oh, wow, this dude is... I guess this dude has barely played this season. But um, Xbox Live has been down, so I've had to go over to PlayStation 5 to try to get these matches. I haven't been able to go online on Xbox. So hopefully these matches are good. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you. It's been a while since um I played ex exclusively on the PlayStation 5. Like it really, it really has been a while. But I'm gonna tell you guys, man, if I remember correctly, the way the way PlayStation players, the way they strike is actually uh different from the way strikers on Xbox actually strike. On a place, I mean, see what this man is doing? There's a lot of, it's like, okay, all right. Oh, he almost shot right there. When you watch them, when you watch them strike, it, it almost doesn't look like they know what the hell they're doing. But, like, it's actually effective because, I mean, as you can see with this dude, he's just all over the place. Like, he's not doing anything with, like, a clear... It's like, what I've noticed is... Got him. What I've noticed is, they either have a very, very clear pattern that they don't veer from at all, or they're so chaotic and so random with everything they do that you actually genuinely have to be careful because at any moment, he's rocked, though, at any moment, you, it could be... I mean, look at him. He's rocked throwing head kicks. Right? At any moment, he could be throwing something absolutely random. And a player like this, if you don't think a player like this can catch you off guard, you'd be very surprised, man. They can absolutely catch you. Of course, as I'm fighting this guy, I can tell that I'm better, right? I know I'm better than him. But um, I also know that... I also know that he can get lucky, and I don't want that to happen. Yo, why is my uppercut whiffing on Piotr Jan for some reason right now? Yo, these roundhouse kicks you're throwing, bro. Alright? Now he throws, like, over and over and over again to the legs. Pretty much, this dude is just... He's going back to the well more times that like more times than I think he actually got it. Wow. Okay. And right there, throws in a random takedown. Back sit in. Nope. Sit back down. See what see what this bulldog choke is all about. Yeah, he's okay. All right. All right. But yeah, man, Chito Vera will be fighting Corey Sandhagen. I think it's a good fight, man. I think it's a good fight. Chito Vera has a very interesting style. He's a very patient man. I think, I think that is one thing we can all definitely say about him. He has a very, very patient style. 
almost like he's he's trying to learn the opponent. I think a lot of times when 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 we say that a fighter is trying to download the opponent, we kind of exaggerate and we turn fighters into this mystic being that it's like a computer. Oh, I've downloaded everything you're going to. Are you there? Well, I've downloaded everything that you're going to do. Now I can finally attack. See what I mean right here, bro? He shoots again. I don't think it's ever, I don't think it's ever, it's ever that um, serious, bro. Like, like, yes, fighters make reads. And you definitely have to make reads. And, and fighters do that a lot. Anderson Silva was very famous for making, making reads in that octagon. But, like, he's not a computer at the end of the day. There is no download in the opponent. MMA is still... No, get off me. MMA is still a, a, a chaotic sport. It's a sport that anything can happen. Um, you, can, you can make all the educated guesses in the world. It is not difficult to be wrong, right? So I think in terms of making reads, most times what fighters are trying to do is they're trying to find find range trying to find distance for a specific attack and a lot of times they're trying to warm up they're trying to warm up they're trying to get comfortable they're trying to get going right a lot of times it's less about you know trying to download no get off me less about trying to download your opponent oh my god bro what are we doing right now really You're not going to take me down, sir. It's not going to happen. No. It's not going to happen. And you're about to get KO'd, bro. You're about to get knocked dead. If you keep doing that. There we go. That should be it. Yeah. Good night. Goodbye. So, but yeah, I was saying that just to say that Chito Vera is... is He's one of those fighters that you can say takes his time to try to read the opponent, right? He definitely did that with Dominic Cruz, that's for sure. He definitely did that with Dominic Cruz. Found that roundhouse and shocked him. Absolutely shocked him. Anyways, that's going to do it for fight number one. We'll try to see if I can get like three fights, maybe three fights. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Bombo Claw. Bombo Claw. Here we go. Uh huh. Cody No Chin Garbrandt. Let's see what you got, baby. Let's see what you got. Mm hmm. Stab you to the body. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Okay. Uh huh. Caught that one again. Head kick. Back up. To the body. Uh huh. Boom boom. I like the way this fight's going. If I'm being honest, to the body, to the body, to the body. <laughs> yeah, I found exactly what style I'm gonna use against this guy. I'm just gonna force resets on him over and over again. I'm gonna force resets on him. And the resets that I'm 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 using pretty much. It's like, so I go. I know he's he's going to try to get me back, and so I just place a cross. Boom! Look at that. See that? Place a cross. Reset him. Cross. Sh like halt him, and go. Halt him. Go. Reset. Go. Reset. Go. Look at that. Feel that? Boom! Reset again. And he's not gonna, he's not paying attention to see what I'm doing. Reset, go again, reset, 
boom, reset again, and go. <laughs> I'm just forcing him to reset. This is, I'm pretty much stealing. I'm constantly just stealing his turn, essentially. But to do this, you, you need a shot that's, that can consistently give you stopping power. And a cr the cross is a good one. If you, if you can land the cross on time, right there, you see? It's consistently stopping him in its tracks. See, the jab doesn't really do it, but the cross does. Uh-oh, hold on. There we go. Mm-hmm, set him down. Come on, baby. Reset. Oh, yeah. Strikers in PlayStation, they are different. I'm telling you, man, it's, it, is, it is different. It's not, it's not like Xbox. It is not like Xbox. They do, they do things a bit differently, man. They do things a bit, a bit, a bit differently. But, yeah, come on. Let's keep it going just like that, baby. To left hook, boom. Set that boy down. Round number two. Reset. 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 Every time I get that hit reaction, that's my that's my cue to go. Well, I'm gonna hit you with that again. I'm gonna hit you with that again. <laughs> yeah, reset, reset, there we go, the way you, the way you get yourself out of that, if, if you, if your opponent is constantly, oh, set him down, if your opponent is constantly forcing you into hit reactions, that's when you need your slips, your slip straights, your duck counters, your pull counters, that's what's going to get you out of that, and then you can turn the ties on them. See, the mistake he's making is he's not using head movement correctly. Oh, now he's stuck. Oh, this, this should be it. This should be it. That's it. Yep. Done. Absolutely done. Oh, respect. Okay, okay. Hey, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. Great fight. Great fight. Great fight. That was fun. That was a cross, left hook, side him down. Cross, left hook. Boom, boom, sat that boy down. Fight over. All right. We are going to get one more. One more fight, and we'll call it a day. All right, boys. This is going to be the end of it. Yeah, let's go. Opponent went with Aljo. <laughs> Let's see what he wants to do. Okay. Respect to you too. He caught it. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's going to be one of those. It looks like he wants to fight an in close type of fight with me, which is okay. That is A okay. Back up, back up a little bit to the body. My goal with this fight right now is just work the body, get his body low on health, and then just kill the head. Go from there. Play the same, a similar game, but I think, yeah, it's going to be a bit harder to play the same game that I played in the last fight with this guy. Because this guy right here, if you guys will notice, he's staying in the pocket a bit longer. He, he has more fight in him. He really does. You see that? He has more fight in him. Back up. To the body. 
Um, I don't know how this fight is going to go, man. Chito Vera versus um, Corey Sanhagen. Corey Sanhagen is a very good striker. He's a very elite level striker. Um, tricky. Very tricky. But I think if there's anyone that can figure him out, it's someone like Chito Vera. Because once again, as we were talking about earlier, he does have that quality where he takes a moment, not necessarily to download the opponent like a computer, but just to to kind of get an idea of like what he's dealing with. You know what I mean? Again, a lot of times when play when when fighters do that, you know, the whole taking a moment, the the the, the, the it's called a feeling out process for a reason. A lot of times you want to see how how hard is my opponent going? How fast are they moving? What's the pace of this fight about to look like right now? Um what's the range of this fight, you know? Are they are they wanting to fight at at distance the for the most part or are they trying to there you go are they trying to do what i'm doing with this guy right here where we're pretty much fighting more in a phone booth or, or boxing range i should say and then if there's a technique specifically that you want to land a lot a lot of times it's leg kicks right if you have a game plan where you want to land a lot of leg kicks you need to find the right range for it you need to find the right range. Um, a lot of times, too, for the really good strikers, that whole feeling out process is also a way to kind of gauge how quickly your opponent is reacting, right? So you throw out a few feints at them, and you see how quickly they're, how quickly they're picking up on things. It can kind of give you an idea of how sharp your opponent is. If your opponent is sharp, that that then that means that you're going to need much more uh a bit more set up to try to land what you want to land but if you notice that they're not really that sharp you know rocked you throw a, you throw a freaking leg kick fake and they don't they don't lift their legs to check it you do it a few times and they're not lifting their legs to check it well that kind of tells you hey, you know I, I, I can i can kick this guy in the legs a few times but if you watch like a muay thai competition if they see your leg even move a little bit, boom, they're lifting, they're constantly lifting the leg to check, which means that you got to set that thing up properly. Same thing, if you watch someone like, watch someone like Floyd or, you know, really good boxers with, with very good defensive skills, if you, if you even as much as twitch, they're reacting to it very well. And a lot of times it's like, called biting on fakes but like if somebody is biting on fakes oh what how dare you how dare you oh i do not like getting dropped by a front kick bro that is that is my shot nah 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 nah, nah i need to knock you out with a front kick bro no, no, I'm sorry. I got to knock you out with a front kick, bro. I got to knock you out with a front kick. I'm petty, bro. I'm petty like that. Sorry. I have to knock you out with a front kick. Because, man, that that was not... That's... No, no. <laughs> no. If someone's biting on fakes, it could be a sign of... You know, they're not relaxed. Oy! Oh, that was that was close. It could be a sign that they're not relaxed, or it could also be a sign that they are sharp. They're sharp. So, it depends on how they're biting on it, I'll, I'll say. If they're overreacting, right? If they're overreacting to what you're doing, then it's like, all right, this guy is not really comfortable. I can kind of overload his brain and take him out. Got him, set him down. But like, if they're showing, if they're showing the right defense to your fakes, right? They're showing the right defense. They're sharp. That's a sharp fighter. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to set things up a lot better. There it is. There it is. Hey man, kudos to you, bro. Honestly, kudos to you. Uh. Good fight. <laughs> good fight. Uh, definitely good fight. 
Good fight. I just, I just, I had to get you back, dude. I had to get you back. There's no way I would have been satisfied uh, just moving on without getting you back without front kick, bro. I don't like getting dropped with front kicks. There you go. Now you guys know my weakness. If you drop me with a front kick, there's a good chance I'm going to get petty. There's a very good chance. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, let me know in the comment section what you guys, uh, how you guys think this fight's going to play out. Chito Vera versus, um, Corey Sanhagen. How do you think the fight's going to go? Who do you think is going to win? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the fighter showcase and I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one.